Welcome, folks, to another Let's Play. I'm Samurai TX, and oh yes, judging by that little symbol, I guess you know what's coming. Sony Computer Entertainment presents... A Naughty Dog Productions. Oh yes, you guys have seen this coming from a mile away, considering I played this um, the prequel to this game in 2017. A 10-year anniversary. Let's play Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Made in 2009, released on the PlayStation 3 by Naughty Dog. Yes, like I said, I played this um, Drake's Fortune two years ago, which was its 10th anniversary. Now I'm playing Among Thieves, also on its 10th anniversary, so I'm excited to play this game. It's my favourite entry in the series, um, out of all the games I've played. We're just checking the settings. Yeah, everything seems fine. But um, yeah, I've played all the Uncharted games except for and Lost Legacy. Um, but um, so far, I've played all three Uncharted games. This one is my favourite. Um, but they're all great in its own way. So let's start a new game as we are going to explore Nathan Drake's adventure. Oop. Okay, let's start by pressing new game, shall we? Key to bonus treasures. Now nah, we're not going to do that. So you can play on easy, which has aim assist and extra health. No, we don't want to do that because that's boring. Easy. Nope, we're not going to do that because we're um, currently ex experienced normal. Nope, we're not going to do that. We're going to play on hard mode. I would do crushing, but I don't have it. So we're going to play on hard mode. So without further ado, let's enter the world of Nathan Drake once again. Alright, let's save. We're going to override this save data. Yeah, I did test this earlier to see if it, um, the game works. It does. So, yeah, let's override it. As you can see, it's the same date. So, yeah. Let's enter the world of Uncharted again. And it's the loading screen. I think PS4, I really should have got the um, Legacy Nathan Drake collection because I think it's much quicker loading screens with the um, PS4. But um, I'll have to compromise for now. I did not tell half of what I saw, for I knew I would not be believed. Marco Polo on his deathbed in 1324. I don't know, you tell me, Nathan. Oh my goodness. That's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. You have got yourself in a right old doozy again, haven't you? Oh. Alright guys, so here we are as Nathan Drake, hanging from a very tight situation. Indeed, Nate. Oh crap. Whoa, look at that. Look at us. Nathan Drake technically should be dead. He's bleeding. So we're starting chapter one. A rock and a hard place. Nathan Drake is bleeding. He's bled a lot and he's in the cold. This should kill somebody, right? Considering he looks like he was out for a lengthy amount of time. But let's just climb up. We're going to begin our ascent. Otherwise, if we don't, we're just going to fall down and die. I've, I don't think that happens. I think we have to do it ourselves still. I think the only way we can kill ourselves is by dying. Uh-oh. But yeah. Oh, God. If it's one thing that this game has done to me over the experiences of me playing this game... Um, it's to it's clench me and make me feel more tense because I don't want to kill Nathan Drake, you know. But yeah, X is to jump as it shows. You, oh, my goodness, Nate, we need to hurry up. I know you're wounded, but we do need to hurry up and fast. All right, so let's climb up this. And um, basically, your dir the directions are to move. X is to jump. Um, oh God. All right, let's keep going, Nate. Oh. Man, he's got a good grip for someone that's bloody wounded. Like, he's very resilient. Alright, so yeah, it's 10 you hold the direction, then jump. So that's cool. Now we're going to jump in here. And climb up by pressing the X button. Alright, so now we're going to jump on these chairs. Alright, Nate, let's go. Um, we should climb up here now. And jump up here. 
There we go, excellent. Jump up again, uh oh. Uh, jump up again, and there we go. Climb up. So yeah, this part is um, really one of the fun parts of the game. And the woo! That would have been very embarrassing. If I died there, that would have been so embarrassing. Oof, my goodness. Nate, please make this jump. I don't want to be killing you before the viewers start laughing at me for dying in their first... Uh-oh! Oh my god, man. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to be a, f um, a treasure hunter, try and get yourself in a less... Um, harder... Um, in a... sorry, in a... Um, less tougher situation, if you get my point. Try and not get yourself in a tough situation, is what I'm trying to say. Right. Otherwise you end up like Nate. And you don't want to be bleeding and nearly about to fall off a train. Of a broken train. Alright, so let's quickly get up here because the train's about to fall. And now we better find land because I'm scared for Nate. I actually am, I'm not going to lie. I think my grip would have been terrible, to be honest with you. Alright, Nate, come, please stop falling around. Come on, Nate. We, we, we don't... Oh, no. Run, Nate. Run, 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 run. Oh boy, jump! Oh god, Nate, please grab on. Oh, yep. Don't look down again, please. Just get up there. I'm actually surprised he's still alive. To be honest, he's lost a lot of blood. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not going to like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. Hello there. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Smooth, Nate. Real smooth. <laughs> Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Alright, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble? Bob's your uncle, mate. I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. I know, someone want to fill me in. Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded 
every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shall the fate, fate of, of the, the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn, Pretty much. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Everything, Nate. Everything can go wrong. Like this situation, for example. Alright guys, looks like we're going to be doing our first bit of action. Um, I'm going to collect all 101 pieces of treasure. Yes, there is one extra bonus one, which is why it's 101. Alright, so the first treasure is, as you can see over here, if you walked over here, you see a blinking light by the tree. Press triangle and pick it up, you get your first treasure trophy. Quite a nice treasure there. Oh yeah, let's just keep going for now. So there's five treasures in chapter one. Oh, tree's falling. I don't think the tree will do any damage to us. We'll just casually walk by Nathan. What are you doing? Alright, so let's keep going and... Um, okay, everything's going to shut down on us. We can't go back that way now. Yep, we now need to go forward. So it looks like we've officially found ourselves in some trouble. Wait, is that... Can we pick up this bag thing over here or is that a barrel? No, I think that's a... I think that's just a crate. We're not allowed to get that. It looks like a bag though, but I don't think it is. Alright, so let's keep going this way. Looks like this is the only way to go. Now we can't go back that way. Alright, so let's um, go over here, pick up the gun. And as you can see, if you go straight over there, you can see your second treasure, which is shining. So let's pick it up. And look at that remarkable treasure over, th over there. We can press start to inspect it. We will inspect them eventually, just not in this chapter. But let's keep going. So we need 99 more treasures. <laughs> but yeah, let's grab our ammunition. Yeah, we're going to need as much ammo as we can get. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Of course. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Yeah. Alright, so let's aim and shoot. So L wants to aim and R wants to shoot. There we go. Very simple. These controls are quite simple, really. So, um... You're not really going to get any trouble. You're not really going to have any trouble knowing them. R2 is to reload. In other shooting games, it will be square. And your third treasure will be right up here. Uh, okay. Um... Should we shoot him? Um, is it over here? Yeah, there it is. See, you know, the third treasure is there. You're supposed to shoot it down. So let's go over there. Oh, never mind. Let's make. Let's move around. Since he's not getting out of the way, we're going to shoot down the shiny part. And now he's going to fall down. And that's our third treasure. Looks like a lamp. Or some sort of um, antique. It's, these um, treasures are looking very impressive. Hi, how you doing? Alright, let's shoot you. And kaboom! Goodbye, you're dead. Karma's a bitch. Indeed it is, Nate. Indeed it is. But we're not here to discover about karma. We're here to keep you alive. Alright, so we can't go anywhere else. We've picked up three treasures thus far. There's two more to get, but none of them are nearby. But you will see which ones I'm trying to get, because you will see them eventually. Well, let's keep going this way. No, no there ain't nothing this way. Um, we need to go this way. There should be somewhere for us to jump, like um, a bunch of barrels and whatnot. Um, it should be somewhere around here, I believe. Is it? Uh, no. I don't think it is. Wait, let's go back this way. I think it is somewhere around here, um, where we're supposed to be. I only went this way to see if there's any more treasures. Obviously there isn't, so... Let's just keep going, and let's just keep moving on. The next place to go is not here, by the way. Oh, not here! Oh, wait, what am I doing? No, 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 sorry. That is not the way to go. See, I'm pretty rusty. Oh, God. I'm so rusty that I forgot which way I was going. All right, so keep going this way. And then there should be somewhere where we need to climb on a bunch of boxes. Um, it should be nearby. There it is. I believe it's um, over here. Is it over here? No, not here. Um, in the next area. All right, so we go out this way. Oh, God, I'm really... This shows that I haven't played this game sometimes. There it is. 
Yeah, see, this is where we're supposed to jump on these boxes. See, I knew what I was talking about. I just, I just kept getting lost. And this is the only part of the game. I won't get lost from now on, though. I can tell you that for sure. But I'll be looking around for treasures and whatnot very often. Right, let's see. We need to jump over here. And before you do anything, don't go inside the train. You have to go backwards and drop down here on this box. And then if you go backwards and drop down here, you'll get your fourth treasure. So I'll pick it up, and there's your fourth treasure of this chapter. There's only one more to get for chapter one. So yeah, um, I will be picking up every um, treasure in each chapter. And I'll tell you how many there is. There isn't nothing here, but um, just to make sure, just in case if you don't go exploring, if you play this for the first time, there is nothing down here. Um, there's on the treasure was on the other side, as you as I as you could tell. And now we're going to go over here and just um, go forward. So there are cannon pathways we're supposed to go, but sometimes I will ignore it because the treasures are well hidden in this game. I'm telling you for sure, these treasures are so well hidden that um, most of the time you will um, have a tough time looking for them. Uh-oh. Okay. Nate, I think now is the time to... Oh, jeez. God, Nate. Now he looks like he's passed out like a drunk. <laughs> he looks so wasted there. If you don't look at the blood, he does look a bit wasted. They had too much to drink. Hello, hello. hello. So much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. Damn! So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist. We find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm hmm And then? And then we split the take three ways and you and I just... disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's... gonna be pissed. He's... gonna be fine. <clears throat> Trust me. Damn, Nate, you lucky, man. You lucky, Nate. I'll give you that. You lucky, Nate. Now you need to wake up. By the way, why would you run away from a woman that looks so amazing, Nate? I don't get it. Why would you? You must have some reason to walk away from a woman like Chloe. I mean, she looks very badass, if I'm honest with you, Nate. Alright, so um, let's get back onto topic. Let's jump here and let's um, climb on here. What you need to do is um, go around. So um, climb on this um, yellow pole and then jump up here. The cannon way is to go forward, but you don't want to do that. If you wanted to hunt for treasures, look behind you and jump. As you can see, there's a glowing thing there. That's the fifth and final treasure of this chapter. So climb up here and um, grab it. And you get the Beginner Hunter Trophy and the Beginner Hunter Medal with $10,000. But yeah, that's the final treasure of Chapter 1. I can confirm that for you because I have played this game. So let's keep going. And we're not going to um, encounter any... Ah! Face first into the snow. Nate, you're having a, quite a day. Alright, so let's just keep moving. Clearly a lot of people are looking for us because there's been a lot of noise. Hello? No, nobody here. This is clearly a flashback, obviously. Because um, for us to be flashbacking what Nate's about to do, 
with uh, Flynn and Chloe to get here. Well, this part is, I like to consider this flashback just a tutorial part segment, but it's an important part of the story anyway as well. But damn, Nate, you're pretty beat up. Maybe you should find somewhere safe. That looks very important. You sure you're up for this? I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. You won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah. I'm, uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it, all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay. This one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. <clears throat> Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. All right, it sure seems it's time to steal gone. something. Breaking and entering. Hooray! Well, we shall continue now. Let's save first. Thank you. 